Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back to Minecraft Creative Cribs, a series where I tour your world from the Minecraft console community. Well, let's let's keep this in mind or or spaceship, shall I say? Or shall I say space ships because this is just incredible. But where is our builder for today? We have to find him. Look at this map and it looks insane now i do want to say that this was actually glitched here with the signs uh this typically had a list of the builders and much more but it seems that uh the signs were glitched and it wasn't working and there he is up there hey buddy come on come on this is creative cribs now you gotta come down you gotta show me around here how did you get up there and here he comes wow there he is <laughs> so let's see who our builder is going to be for today it looks like some type of an alien I'm, I'm backing away this is this is scary who who's this this is rainbow farts 117 <laughs> an amazing name by the way and it looks like he's in his his alien robot skin which looks awesome as well he has some nice electro wings it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and follow him on now again we're gonna have to follow through and i will put uh, a link to his channel down below in the description so feel free uh to check him out again if you would like to either maybe join the world possibly or something like that or even check the builds out uh, uh yeah a link to his channel will be down below in the description also how are you guys doing hopefully your day is going great hopefully your new year's is going great this is actually the first episode of Creative Cribs of 2016. This is insane. And let's take a look at what's going on uh, now with this ship. As you can see, it's huge. And I don't know like if the thing below, it's supposed to be like the solar system, but this is like amazing. Not necessarily the solar system, but it almost looks like crop circles or something like that. We have like the fighter jets here kind of like fighting off everything this is just this is super super amazing we have like uh like the ray beams going on and he's like jumping along them i'm gonna try and do that as well can i make it <laughs> and i totally missed the jump did i tell you guys i'm not the best at parkour just to state that but yeah i hope you guys are going good uh, hopefully your day is going great also feel free to let me know your new year's resolutions down below in the comments i'll be doing a little bit of i guess advice giving uh throughout today's episode as far as uh maybe things that you can keep in mind for 2016 being that this is the very first one i feel like it's only right did i do that uh for this year and to kind of like start the year off and if you guys uh may have had you know something planned or if you have something planned uh maybe you can have a way to like kind of approach it with a, I don't know, a little bit of advice. So uh, let's just bear that in mind. But overall, this ship looks awesome. Now, it's not only the exterior that looks amazing, it's also the interior that looks amazing. Look at the detail on the back of this ship here. We have like the the, the like the weapons and stuff on it. Even also, uh, if you go right here to the back, look at that. It's like, it's actually kind of like blasting off. So this looks amazing. I think he did a fantastic job on this build here. And it's just, it's it's incredible. I really sometimes don't know how you guys do it as far as like build all these amazing things. Also to bear in mind, like I've been doing creative cribs for over three years at least. And it's insane the amount of builds that I see. And I'm constantly, constantly surprised by the builds I see. It, it's amazing, you guys. Um, like just the fact that, you know, I, I've toured so many worlds and, and so many different people uh, and different creations it's just been so creative throughout this whole entire time. And this, is, this isn't like a, a speech where this is the last and final episode of Creative Cribs because that's not the case. I will continue on with this series as long as I can, um, as, long as, I, as, long, as long as I love to. The love for the series is always there because I meet a lot of new people. You guys even become friends with the people here. Again, people have become best friends over the series here. So... Here we go, let's take a look inside of the ship. It looks like this ship here is like kinda like, I don't know if that's being repaired or something, that's kinda what it looks like. Uh, there we have like the little portal things uh, with the water. I'm assuming those are like kinda like portals or whatnot. And let's go ahead and follow him through here. Now, it is quite laggy uh, for some odd reason, just connection issues and things like that. So you might see him uh, maybe be a little bit ahead of me or I might be a little bit ahead of him or I may lose him at some point. It's not like he's doing his like alien powers and trying to like teleport around me so uh there he is there <laughs> but yeah it does get a little bit laggy just to give you guys a quick forewarning uh, on that one let's go ahead and go upstairs uh from here you can kind of get a view from everything too as well i'm really curious to see like where's the the main station room like where do i control this ship at because i want to fly this ship all the way into space and this is like again this is like the portal things and this is like another like little like fighter kind of a jet thing inside uh, of this spaceship here 
I don't even know if I should really call this like a spaceship. This is almost like a giant spacecraft. It's, it's honestly amazing, you guys. It looks really, really good here. Uh, and that's also some more uh, over there in the other portal too. So look, he, he just did a fantastic job on this. But let's talk about 2016, uh, some of my goals. Also, again, I hope you putting down in the comments some of your goals uh, as well. I will be reading through the comments. Okay, so let's talk about 2016. Uh, a lot of people, of course, tend to, to maybe say, you know, I'm going to be a completely different person this year. Now, I've always had something in my mind ever since I've started, you know, this whole, you know, the New Year's resolution thing. I think when you're, of course, around a teenage, teenage age, that's when you really kind of take it into, into thought, like, you know, or maybe like adult age, probably, where you kind of change your thoughts or perspective of the world or whatnot. But I think overall my whole, you know, thoughts on the next year, I've always, I never really had like a resolution resolution. Of course, maybe to work out more, eat less cookies. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Unless you're me, of course, because I just love cookies. But I think I always try to just be better than I than I was the previous year. I think if you can maintain what you're doing or or maybe try to just better yourself the next year, that's okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with setting really really high goals uh, because you know, you never know. You might go past those goals. You you just you never know about that. I also want to say a thank you thank you to all the support on the channel, you guys. I would have never thought that we would have over half a million subscribers, and this is just insane because I remember doing commentaries and talking about you know thank you guys for fifty. And, and things like or 20,000 and it's amazing to actually be at the point and I, I love still being in tune with the community and with you guys again I will always try to involve you guys as much as I can as much as possible uh, you, you always you probably see this all the time throughout my series also throughout you know live streams or, or, or other things uh, like that where I try to really involve you guys uh, to be a part because again I wouldn't be here if it was not for you guys so you guys are a part of my channel and this is basically like our channel so that's how I take that into consideration but back to 2016 Big B well technically it's not back to 2016 but yeah 2016 again uh, I think my goal again for this year was just to just to be better than what I was last year not not in a way that you know I was bad last year or anything like that but you know I just I hope to do better than I did last year you know and, and whether it's in you know working out or you know video wise or something like that just you know just setting goals here and there and also to be more organized. I definitely want to be more organized. I've been doing really good with the video schedule lately, and I'm going to back away from this room because that looked like there was, I don't know what was in that room, but I'm stuck in the door. <laughs> I always tend to get stuck on these doors. If, you're, if you've been a long time watcher of Creative Cribs, there's a couple things that always got to me in Creative Cribs, and doors and stairs were the two things. So even if you go back and watch like very old episodes of Creative Cribs, like, or even Survival Cribs, like the the thing that that always got to me was the doors. It was especially the button doors. Pressure plate doors did too, but not so much. But anyway, uh, some advice I can kind of give you guys, especially if you're making videos. I do get a lot of questions about that, so hopefully I can answer that uh, today. I do get a lot of questions. You know, Big B, should I start a gaming channel? Should I do? You know, should I make videos or something like that? <clears throat> I, I honestly, well, I I technically I I strongly encourage that. Not strongly encourage, but there's nothing wrong with like making gaming videos, especially if you're getting into it uh, for the right reason. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time, and I think my passion for it, of course, is still here and stronger than ever. And I think again, if you do anything that you that you love, like if you love you know sports, if you love this particular sport, I think if you pursue it and put your energy into it, uh, it could be something that that of course you know you you'll always kind of do, and you, it'll always be like your thing. And, and, but back to the channel thing, back to the channel thing. So again. Just do it for the right reasons. Again, if you are making a channel, don't make it just because you feel like, yo, you know, I want to be, you know, this quote unquote popular YouTuber because that is always, I, I know that gets into people's minds sometimes. I used to always have these kind of one on one talks with you guys about that. Go into it for the right reason. I think that that will show. Always be yourself as well. A lot of people ask, could I give advice or anything like that? Honestly, just be yourself. Have fun. And I think that definitely pays off uh, the best. And don't really care too much what people think. They say some of the best things uh, come about whenever you you get out of your comfort zone. And your comfort zone is just what you're comfort, you know, what you're comfortable to. And, and you know, you know, being shy or something like that. Like, think about, like, public speaking. I think public, sp public speaking is definitely someone's, like, 
biggest I, I i did hear it at one point that was like most people's biggest fear is speaking in public like in front of a a crowd or something like that like i can just remember and think back at the days in in school where you know the teacher would call you up in the middle of the class uh or in front of the class and you had to like kind of speak out or do a presentation or something like that i was terrified i mean terrified and to think today uh and this comes up with confidence of course and kind of like believing in yourself that you can do it and, and you know if it's something you enjoy then of course but yeah i think like when i think back today like when i would go to events and things like that and i finally did like stage stuff and it was awesome because i've never been on stage before and i was super 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 nervous but also excited at the same time and i think the more i did it the more i got comfortable with it and this this here one second looks like the ultimate control room i'm believing and i guess from here you can kind of see like the whole ship uh, from here too as well so this is super awesome i also love the fact that he designed the ship too like even with the red line the yellow he really designed it so i think that's amazing that he paid attention to the detail and and added a lot of detail uh, in here too <clears throat> But yeah, overall, uh, again, the, some of the best things come when you get out of your comfort zone, whether that's doing commentaries or something like that. Uh, <laughs> my commentaries has changed, of course, over the years because, of course, I've, I've become more, more, you know, knowing exactly who I am, I, I, in a way, I, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, it's really good, I guess, to just keep doing something and, and practice makes perfect, I think. But then they say, why practice when nobody's perfect? I don't know. I feel like I'm ranting on because I, I kind of am. I used to rant on a lot in Creative Chris because this is where I get a chance to actually talk to you guys and express to you guys like, you know, things that may happen. I used to tell you guys stories and things that would happen in my day. <laughs> it was quite hilarious at the time. So I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if you like for me to do that more. If you like Creative Cribs to be something uh, where I actually tour the world and maybe talk to you guys about real life topics or uh, shall I just talk more about the world? Just let me know down below in the comments. I'll leave that totally totally up to you but today i'm sorry you're gonna have to bear with the real life topics here just for a tad bit <laughs> because i really want you guys uh to just understand that again especially again for the video makers uh, that always message me as far as well that, that want to make videos Again, just be yourself. Uh, do what do what you enjoy to do, and only what you enjoy to do. And of course, uh, yeah. Over time, I feel like that will that will definitely pay off for you in the end. So that yeah, that's just a bit of my advice uh, to leave you guys with 2016 because it's so cool to see like friends and also you know maybe like you know subscribers. I consider you guys as friends who who you know get get you know the equipment to actually do such things, and it's really cool to see because it's almost just like a cycle. And and I, I love it to see you know someone that you know I may have. You you know helped or or gave advice to and they and they get these things and they start like whether it's a capture card or mic or something like that and they really pursue it and, and it's it's really awesome and it's such a great feeling not not even that it's just because of me but the fact that you know someone is kind of pursuing something that they, they, they love to do and I love to do as far as like I love gaming and I love my passion for passion for videos is just amazing and and uh you and to see someone else you know do that too is just it's really awesome and uh again it, it, it it's really good not to not again not to rant on too much so let's talk about this spaceship world here as you can see we got some more like I guess these are like barracks they're kind of like rooms or whatnot or no I think these are like actually hospital like I guess this is where they kind of like repair and stuff like that like people whoa that was whoa that was laggy I think I'm lagging a tad bit here <laughs> just a little bit okay there we go it's those doors I'm telling you guys it's the doors are we are we finally out of the room I think we're out of the room okay I'm just gonna crouch the whole entire time and see if that we <laughs> seems like it's working do we have to go down that escape shoot there I don't know I don't I don't think we do but yeah <laughs> I can't believe that was actually happening because I was like skipping back and forth these doors always tend to just catch me every time this might be an issue if these doors open up oh let's see if this works for us yes it, it worked <gasps> okay I think are you gonna stand there where I go through or are these like little storage areas because I don't want to get smushed inside the door and there we go awesome okay <laughs> so this is where I guess the storage is uh, where he actually stores like everything and, and this looks cool I, I like that a lot because you got to have a storage place when it comes to like a spaceship because that's only right. I think 
<laughs> and let's go ahead and follow him uh, along here. Again, it might be lagging a bit. So again, some things he he does uh, so far uh, sh will be a little bit behind. So that's something we do have to kind of bear in mind uh, here. This looks like another kind of control uh, area here. Awesome job on this one. And we got some stuff down there. Looks really, really cool, uh, too. So Rainbow Forest did such an amazing job on the ships. Uh, again, I'm going to do a full, complete overview uh, of some more ships, too, in the next episode of Creative Crips, which be back on Rainbow Forest World. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see. Of course, this is where you would, like, see all the planets, maybe, or, or the, the plans where you would go to. Looks amazing, but of course, Rainbow Farts will know all the details about this world here. But I would like to thank you all for watching today's episode. Again, sorry for the rant, but do let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if Creative Cribs, if you want me to talk more about real-life topics, if you have any questions or things like that, feel free to leave those down below in the comments, and maybe I will answer those in the next episode. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!